Hi, it's Karen. And Jim. From Stamping on the Back po Porch. And porch. welcome to another episode of Karen and Tim Live. Today we're going to be doing simple stamping, which is my favorite. <laughs> and um, we're going to be using the new Painted Seasons Bundle, which is the new offering for celebrations. You can earn this free with a $100 order. And of course, as you know, you can take the ideas and use other stamp sets and papers too. These are just ideas. But first, we and, got mail. <laughs> and can I just say that we're gonna do this in the living room, because the back porch has too much snow on it. <laughs> I know, this is, uh, school's back on today. We had another snow day yesterday, I don't know. Tim, are you planning to stamp today? Yes. He's still in his robe. Yes. <laughs> I I'll just noticed. Okay, you're gonna. This I need your to new tell look. you. I need okay. to tell you. Something. That's okay. Well, we have cards to open, so you can sit down. So I, I <laughs> love being retired. I don't have to go anywhere. I didn't have to go anywhere in the storms. Look at this. I'm still in my house see? coat. Yeah. Still has a Zubas on. It's a Zubas. I do. And my orange Crocs. <laughs> I'm comfortable. Yeah, so life, working, li life is comfortable. We're, we're all cozied in here. And working for Karen is not a fashion show, so I'm okay. Yeah, he just has a few more layers on, you know. It's I just do. kind of par for the course. But I got to say something. I got up at 4 o'clock this morning. Yeah, he did. Took our son to the airport. Our son from Nantucket has been here for a week and a half and couldn't get out yesterday because of the storm, but he did get out today, so he, he scheduled an early flight, and I was happy enough get up and take them to the So airport. Debbie's saying it's 82 degrees in Tallahassee. And I said, it, it, it's it bright out. It looks beautiful. I don't it, know it what the temperature is, know. but when all this is over, I plan to spend some time outside, you know, of course. <laughs> so hi, Sharon, Holly, Deb, Donna, Kathy, Sandy. Can't, many, many names on here. Well, Nancy, Carol, that. Vicki. I can't. Uh, Mackenzie, Karen, Angie, Francis. Thanks to you guys that are sharing. Mary Ellen, Kathy, Mary, wonderful. Um, so we'll open our mail first. Hi, Anessa. We'll open mail first because we love doing that. This first card I just had to show you, this is from Sandy Eby. I don't know if she's on from uh, Wisconsin. And you, I shared a while ago about the tragic car accident that you know our young friend was killed. It's a really close friend's wife and she's 37. You know, the husband grew up with our kids, so we're all just very close, and it was just really a difficult thing, and they have two young boys, so it's just really hard. She sent the most beautiful sympathy card for them, so I had to share it with you before I, before I pass it on. It says, uh, look how cool that is. And it's, uh, fear not, the Isaiah verse that's with the crosses. Read it all. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will hold you, help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41.10. And just look at all the trims. I just think that is just really an awesome card. And it was very sweet to yes. have her just think about this story and um, send this card that we will pass along. So, um, and actually, it was actually just sent to us, but we're going to pass it along to David, the husband. Yes. I just think that's just really a very precious message for him, too. So thank you. Andy, that was really appreciated. Sandy. Sandy. Yes. So thank you, Sandy. Jean Fletcher from Illinois. Oh, awesome. Uh, heart with the strips in it. How fun. We, we were doing a card similar to that on Facebook Live a while ago. Love it. Love it. Anna. And a Fun note. note. Oh, and a note. So I'll read that later. Um, Thank you. That's beautiful. And I like that she is following in my style yes. of, of doing the sideways, not up and down, not straight. See? See? Yes. Oh, yes. Tim. Tim. Uh, thank you, Gene. Tim is going to hold himself as being yes. an inspiration to you, um, Gene. So thank you. He yeah. takes credit. <laughs> I do wherever he can find it, even if it's not. <laughs> even if it's not true, but it, it doesn't is. really matter. But in this case, it's true. <laughs> so hi, Betty, Barbara, Vern. We have all kinds of you. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, that sun is just so inviting. Yesterday was actually a lovely day. Our son went snowboarding. It was just perfect for that. It was a lovely day out. It was just constant snow with the nine inches. And I know some of you got even more. So, and? But it's really nice when you don't have somewhere to go and just feeling for all of that. So. The good news is that we have a snowblower. Yes. Yes. So I'm not, he's not going to be doing that much shoveling at this age. That's, you know, just old heart attack thing. So I said, it's good we have a snowblower. So we just kind of take it easy. So hi, Barb, Kathy, Lori, and all of you that I forget. So um, 
Serena Gray. Oh, how cool. This is cool, too. This is from Sharon Smythe. And um, she sent me a check for something, and she included it in a really nice card. I'm lucky to just get a check in the mail. And I said, isn't that pretty? And I just love that with that, um, that wishing you well or whatever, that beautiful set that is still available that is was in the fall catalog. <laughs> Redeem Rediesel from Iowa. I, oh, I just also just want to mention, I love the colors on that. Isn't that pretty in that background? And here, you know, when you talk about simple stamping, that's another great layout. So we just have two cut paper and then that what? diagonal. So it's that's crooked. pretty cool. It's crooked. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how adorable. Redeen sent, th oh, this is so adorable. This is a card design we did in our online retreat. So some of you will recognize it that participated in the, the retreat. And she took that layout and she got us and put the frog on it. That is just as cute as can be. I love it. That is just great. Uh, we are still getting mail, but there was a front page article in the newspaper here about how many people aren't, even like three or four days. They said they're short deliverers and with the snow mm -hmm. and all that, and there's so many packages going now, and then some people were saying they were getting like mail once a week or something and getting bills late, so it's kind of a problem. Our letter carrier drove up yesterday and said that she had been called back into the office, but they had to deliver packages first. So, Karen's. Yeah. So did we get mail to or just packages yesterday? I well, think. pumpkin fat. What do you call it? So, so I guess it was an emergency. What's my that? my paper pumpkin paper got pumpkin. delivered. That's what it is. <laughs> but they weren't say, delivering other. I was mail. calling it a pumpkin patch. I, I would have told paper wasn't. pumpkin, and we had one other letter. I, I could have waited a day, yeah. but you know they're not going to know that. But it is interesting how things have changed, and there's so many packages going going through. So. Um, we hit a record here in Minnesota. I don't know many other states, but it's the snowiest yet. February ever, and tomorrow they're supposed to go snow again. We are hoping to take my mom out shopping, which will be a huge adventure. Uh, we, she really needs shoes, and she really needs to try them on, but we will see what the weather does. <laughs> oh, oh, this is so fun, Stephanie Briggs. Here is another, oh, hi. Oh, look, oh. In a picture. And we have a photo. We met Stephanie in uh, Florida. That was so much fun. I don't know if we'd ever met. You have to remind me if we'd met. But, you know, oh, but that is so fun. Before that, I'm trying to think how long I've known you. But um, I've known that you for so years. That is so fun. She makes her husband <laughs> and 16-year-old watch part of her videos. Oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> I love it. You, too, can be in your house coat working for your wife. And you know what's fun? This is another of the card designs we did in our online extravaganza. I said, this is just really fun. <laughs> Indiana, you have a sun, sunny 40 degree, Diana says. Yeah, uh, you know, the sun makes a world of difference. If it's not windy and there's sun out, I think winter is actually really beautiful. Mary Ellen has a, had over 100 inches of snow last year. Someone else just said they got 101 or something this year earlier. I was just noticing. Where is um, she from? Uh, Marilyn, where are you from? I, I think Montana. Um, our son was there, but I could be wrong. Our son was there, you know, a few weeks ago, snowboarding and had good weather, so that's great. <laughs> oh, Kansas goes, yeah, so much for the in snow, sleet, heat, in the dead of night, mail delivery. Yeah. That's right, you know, a <laughs> mail must go on, but yeah. <laughs> it's snowing all over Arizona oh. and the mountains. Of yeah, it is Montana. Today. Okay, yeah, okay. That's, that's what I thought, but sometimes I... Okay. Oh, a Valentine's card from Vicki Talley from Texas. Oh, I love it with the butterfly. And notice how she's done the butterfly on designer series paper. It gives it a really, really colorful look. Love it. And some flowers here on the side, all done out of that thinlet dye. That's awesome. Thank you. And the last one, the Melissa last one. Marler. Oh, and another fun card. This is one of the... Pay attention to this card because you're going to see a very similar thing that we're doing today for one of our projects. This is a flip it card, and I sent out a challenge to my downline, anyone who wanted a set of eight cards to turn into flip it cards. Um, and all they had to do was do it with somebody. So, you know, it was just perfect because even if they didn't do parties or anything, they could have a neighbor over. They could explain it to me. a group. 
and everyone uh, else would have flipped it. Uh, well, we're going to do that next, okay. so it'll be fine. So you could just notice that. And the idea was just the fun of introducing, even if you never want parties, if you're demonstrating, but just let a neighbor or friend know what you do. You can meet them at um, Starbucks and make a couple cards. So it was just a fun, and then they had to post a picture. Then we're going to do a drawing, and somebody gets a really fun gift certificate next week. So I think uh, uh, that's, that's really fun to see. So it's just one of the fun things we do. Can I just that. say that a week ago, <laughs> I was in a necktie. <laughs> yes, now I'm in a housecoat. Because <laughs> that was retro. See, and now, nowadays. <laughs> nowadays. Oh, and the retro thing. If you noticed, I reposted that video. And if you're on my list and you see anything, why did you do that? It was a total mistake. I was trying to edit the posting to add something, and somehow it reposted. But there are already so many comments that I thought, I guess I won't delete it. But, you know, it's just me. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this is all fun. Um, I put a list on of the people that were getting the little vintage stamps. So they're going to be mailed out. And then I said I would announce who got from our retro party. The other two, because I had two older woodblock stamps. So the first the one. That's one in all caps. Oh, Mackenzie, it's especially funny when I manage to get to my clients each and every day, all with no four-wheel drive. <laughs> yeah, I guess we do what we do, but... Mary Ellen says, you've got the second coldest February. Oh, you know, the cold. I like the snow better because it's so pretty. And I don't have to go anywhere. If I had to go any, if I had to be someplace, I think it might, I might like the cold better. I'm not sure. <laughs> so the first, this adorable Valentine set that just, here's a treat because you're so sweet. A little toucan of my friendship. You're fantastic. <laughs> this is going to Ellen Weber. So, and I'll put a, a note up at the top. So you need to just message me your address and I will send this to you. And then the bikes, which is just, oh, I just absolutely love this set, is going to Rebecca Sadowski. So thanks you guys for doing that. Well, hi fellow Karen from Richfield. I wonder how many Karens there are in Richfield. Probably quite a few, huh? <laughs> oh, okay. From Wasika, she said. Oh, mm, hello from Richfield. No, I think we're reading different things. Oh. <laughs> you know, th that's the problem with trying to keep up with this. Okay, these are going to go in the mail, so I'll stick them down there. And then the drawing for this week. <laughs> Elaine says she can't get the wood blocks back in. Oh, I know we talk about drawing a diagram because it is like fitting a puzzle together. <laughs> it is pretty funny. <laughs> um, this is because of all the snow, in honor of all the snow, this is going to be the drawing for next week. Because this is a Christmas set, but I don't use it for Christmas. I never did use it for Christmas. I absolutely love tree stamps. Can never get too many of them. And you see you have the tree trunks, you've got two different tree, and you have snow. So this will get you through all of the seasons, and I absolutely love this. This week we're gonna do it for comments. Usually we just do it for, no, I mean for sharing. Usually we just do it for comments. But every now and then I throw in, let's have a time of sharing because sharing is the number one way that you can help us expand our listener base. That's fine. So that it will be next week's so maybe thing. I should go change. No, you're fine. If, if they're, if they're You've sharing. already appeared on if, camera. If, if, I think if, it's irrelevant. If they're sharing it. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> He's oh, already busted. So now if, he, now if he comes out with a tie again, we'll yeah. just want to. <laughs> yes, I agree. Mary says you can never have too many tree stamps. Oh, look at you. So, um, you know, lovely as tree has been around forever. I love all tree sets. It's just hard for me to get rid of nature sets. But I do because I just stay with what's current. But let's get started. We'll put this down. So the point of simple stamp. Oh, and here is the. And we do have a lovely card kit going out. A bunch of them are going out today. With this weather, we've been a little slower to get them out. So E4Z, QH, JUS, and this is always above the video and on my website at KarenTitus.com. So simple stamping, how I am defining it, means nothing with a big shot. Um, we can use punches, designer series paper, but nothing that you need extra equipment for. So just um, really easy cards. This is an amazing set, so I wanted to show you this first. Um, and beautiful papers. Look at this array of colors. These are all the colors in this paper. And because this paper is more like a, talking about the seasons, I'm, I'm missing one. I have one little pack of one other one because I used it all. Um, but to see how the backs are kind of a soft geometric and then 
I guess the one's not soft. But it looks like I spill my coffee. Soft. It does. It does. It is, I think it looks more like. supposed to be that way? Yeah. Okay. It's a watercolor look. This is, you know, watercolor is so irregular. I think it always looks like you left it in the window too long. Yeah. And kind of, you know, have you ever had uh, paper, um, paper do that? I have. I have put it with. <laughs> so that is awesome. And then, so we're first going to do what I would uh, flip it cards and then we're gonna do some other really simple stamping with the note cards again. So you're gonna wanna see, um, make sure you watch, watch that. So we're gonna do two types of things with this. So the first, oh, here's the there other one. Is. See, I'm down to my last little piece of paper with that. But aren't they fun? Better, better order more. So on these cards, I'm gonna show you first how I cut them. So I will take I'm just going to take one of these. I'll just take one of these. I'll throw the rest down here. Uh, first, I'll do one of these. So let's say this is going to be my base card. So my base card is half a sheet of cardstock. Ooh, Nancy left her records near a window and they warped. Oh, oh my goodness. That'd be a, really a loss. I mean, paper we can <gasps> deal with. Oh, and Frost has fade paper because of the age. <laughs> well, yeah, there's that too. Then we just call it a vintage aging. <laughs> So a base card is just half a sheet of cardstock and it could be cut either way and this will make my fold over card. For my next layer, I usually, I always talk about a quarter inch. Today we're going down half an inch, but you can still think a quarter, so it's like two quarters. So I cut the next layers at three and three quarters. By five. Okay, so this is gonna layer on here. That isn't scored, so I'm not gonna fold it. Because I just wanted to show this a little more. You'll see when I show you a card. But now that means I'm gonna cut my card stock at, and I guess these are all partly used, so I can't exactly show you. But since this was five, this is going to be four and three quarters. And so I would do across my hole, 12 by 12, like this. And then, since this was four and three quarters, this is going to be three and a half. Okay? So I'm going to go across and keep doing three and a half. I'll get three across. I'll have a strip left. And those strips are perfect to put inside of your cards as, as just a little thing. So that's why with this, you will get, you know, six across your paper and then have paper left for other things. So I wanted to explain the stamping and then what I did okay so to make these a flip it card and that's my name for it you know there's probably another name for it I'm just going to pick a part I picked I think it was one and a half or one and three quarters I don't know but I could do it equally in half I could do it smaller I mean it really doesn't matter they could all be different I could do it sideways and then I'm going to just flip one of them on my card. Okay, so now you know how it works. And now we're going to be making them. I will do a blog post on this, um, definitely. So, okay. So, look how pretty this is. And so what I did, what was really fun, I put out all the colors in here. I made the flip it parts. And then I'm picking two for each one. And... I am also, so I'm gonna be making one and you can see I'm just gonna switch it the other way, like this. Now I could also make them go like this, so keep in mind, there is no end. They could also go sideways on your card. So using this basic flip up, um, flip up, you can do way more than what I'm showing. I just wanna show enough so you see a little bit of difference. Okay, so on this one, and I'd already cut my paper, and then I thought, oh, you know, we could show a ton more variety, but this is enough to get you started, and then you can show more. This is a great way to show both sides of your paper. Okay, and then it goes on here. I'm trying to work upside down, because Tim always does that, but how fun. This is just stunning paper. Okay, so now here's two. And I did want to tell you, this new punch is awesome. 
and this was will be for sale in March. And as the demonstrators, we get things early. So I bought this and the stamp set that goes with it, which is full of words. That's what I was going to use. But true confessions, I couldn't find it. It's the last minute. And I just was looking at it two days ago, but I don't know where it disappeared to. So these cards are all going to be thank you cards because I wanted to use this punch. And so I just chose the thank you out of this great set too. So anyway, true confessions, you know. Um, so these will be the same. But when you make them, they can be anything. It's not that one either. Okay. Uh, and so then I can just, and you can see what else I did. I didn't plan this, but I just did a variety of, different colors here. So here, we'll, we'll put green on this. If I run out of something that doesn't work, you know, I just will do it later. And let's see, this time I'll just put it in the middle. Okay, so here's the first two cards. And then here is the next card. This is the one I just cut. And I think, aren't these just fun? And so I will make on this one and you can see on the insides is then where you would use your strip. You'd put this, and if there's any leftover little strips, you would just decorate that. Uh, Kathy said she loves the simple cards. You know, I do too. And the other thing I love is it's easy to make a bunch for gifts or just to make them to have on hand so that they're ready. You know, we find that if we have sympathy cards done and ready, it's easy to send one out. If you have to think about making one, uh, it's not. And I'm not going to go to the store and buy any. <laughs> and I think these are beautiful. You could make them all the same if there's uh, one side that you like sharing more. But I think it's really fun. See, I think a great gift would be a set of four of these. And they could all be thank yous. Or they could all have different sayings. And I just think that would be very fun. And useful. I don't always get these on straight when we're here. Let's see. Of what I have... But I actually would prefer to put brown on that to kind of go with that. So I will wait on that one. And then our next one. But you see how they look just a little bit different when you change the colors. And I thought, isn't that just a fun um, combo? And then we're going to go with, go with this one. Yeah, I have to make sure I'm doing this side that we don't. And you can see on each of them, I've just changed the colors. And that way you can also just enjoy seeing how cool all the patterns are. I love this paper and I love this stamp set. I'll put this on. Yes, you could absolutely add ribbon between the DSP. You could add um, any other little ribbon or even a little piece of paper to go with this. You could also add any little gems, any other little things. I'm just leaving them totally straight here for today, just totally plain. But, you know, it's great because you can just start thinking of what you might want to add. And usually when I make cards, I do do the quarter inch, but I just thought these were kind of fun sometimes to show a little more of the background. That's why I did the others just a little bit more. Okay, and then the last one will be this, done in very soft colors. And then we're gonna do the same thing in bright colors. Say, that green is not a soft color. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think it's just um, fun how this really changes it up. But isn't this paper just gorgeous? Okay. Put this on. The name of the punch. Hmm. That would be a hard question. It's a brand new one coming. <laughs> it's on the, uh, you know what? I'll be putting it on my a blog and my Facebook page really soon. It. Uh, I just, I recycled the wrapping. So I don't remember, but it's that. And then this set of cards. Because, you know, in March. So this is part of what you can get in March. You can get this. There's a word set that goes with this. There are also dies for three of the different celebration sets. So that is really awesome. Um, but even starting right now, you can get this paper. You know, so that has started now. This paper and this beautiful stamp set that I'll be sharing next. Could it be called the story label punch? The story label punch. Yes. Oh, Tim went into the right. recycling. How about that? Story label punch. So... 
that is fun. Okay, so here we have all these cards that actually, you know, this would just be a fun set because they're just full of a lot of different colors. And they look different. Yeah, storybook. Um, it, it's a, it'll be a new brochure, but it's really just, it's easy to see. It'll be very easy when it goes live to just go to my online store and look at that because it's only like three pages. It's not like a whole booklet. They just like to add a couple of things and then the other. So it'll be a couple of easier things, I think, to see. But I will let you know more. So that will be, now next week when we have um, Facebook Live, I will go over each of those things because they'll start the next day. Okay, so this is a preview of what you can get right now. So these are just gorgeous. I'm gonna set those aside. And now we're gonna work with just the stamp set and some note cards and envelopes. Remember we talked about these. I think they're $6.50 for $20 or $6.95. I don't remember for $20. So you can make a lot of things with this. We are actually going to make today something as a gift that we made on my online retreat. So, and we had a blast doing that. So we're going to do another one, I think in June. So just keep in mind, cause we just did a whole lot of different things on that. And then you always get ideas first. And you know, if you buy the paper pack or the supplies you get them all ready to go so just to clarify she had a ball and a blast okay <laughs> so what I did with this I took this has no words so I took a stamp set of words that I must have left out on the table Tim if you want to see it it's the incredible it's the incredible like you I actually don't need it it's the stamp set incredible like you had four words on it and I thought let's just use these words. So I pre-stamped. Yeah, Timothy Titus is so helpful. He is. So I took the four words and then I'm just going to to play with them. Okay, that's going to be one more in here. Yeah, okay. So these are the words. So I wanted to have that done ahead of time and then I'm just going to go ahead and stamp. So let's start with this one. You can say this. Oh, yeah, you right say, here. Say that. I just adore you, Tim. Oh, yeah, you. This, would, this would be for him. I just adore you, Tim. So, okay. So you can see I took these four words. I love the sizing of the script and fun words, and this is a great set, too. So I will take these, and let's start with this one. Uh, Okay, I should have put down a little paper to work on. This one's a little messy, so see what you do. Do you ever find like your table space gets smaller and smaller as you work? Well, so does my paper, right? <laughs> so, but since I want to go off the edge, these really look like watercolor. I think these are just really an awesome look. Now, you know that the cling stamps really cling very tight. So what I do is I put a little scotch tape, just a single layer, so I can, it'll always let me start pulling from there. When there is something like, oh, this one I never cleaned off. I like to do, uh, and really I, I won't leave all this on here, but I wanna make sure that you saw it. I like to use like the lower right side, that's um, kind of where I tend to take things off. I didn't wanna use this bottom little narrow part, so I just kinda use the same part. You want me to clean it? No, it's fine. Oh, yes, I, I would. And you know what? what? Did, you went to get paper towels, right? I need yeah. a wet paper towel. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do need them. Um, uh, when it's like a flower, you know, it's going to be a little harder. It isn't the same. Yeah, the punch is story. -like. Yes, it's available in March. Yep, yep. And um, that's what's cool. You know, um, as demonstrators, we often get to order things a month ahead. And you know what? I'm just going to tell you now. Last year I did a, during celebration, I did a 10 questions, 10 cards. Some of you might remember that video about what it's like to be a demonstrator. I'm going to do one like that again a week from today in the evening. So if you're not too sick of me, you can see a double showing next Thursday. We'll do the regular Facebook Live. And then at 6.30, we're going to do that so we can talk. But that is one of the really cool things about being a demonstrator. We get things first, you know. But yes, but you can all get them in March. Okay, so with this... I am going to take, and I want to show you, look at the stack of stamp pads. These are all the same colors as the paper. 
just fun colors to deal with. Okay, and I'm gonna take this flower and my poppy parade, and I'm going to stamp a flower down there, and I'm going to stamp one up here. And I'm totally good with it going over the edge. When I stamp on a card like this, I'll often fold it first so it's easier to see where the line is, but I open it up to stamp on it, because then you're not, you know, when I do it this way, you kind of have that double. It's easier to get a little, little mark. Um, uh, thank you, Sue. Uh, the ribbon should be available again in March. The little bu wooden butterflies are sold out in the foil paper. They won't be getting any more of those. I'd have to check on the gingham paper. It's supposed to be back in stock right around now, so that will be available. Um, wet? Oh, a wet. Oh, he brought me both, wet and dry. Look at that. Yes. And I didn't even ask for that. Space. He just, Assistant. you know. And then I'm going to go with my grapefruit grove. You know, one thing I could, ooh, I could do, we call it, mm, we call it stamping off. I could have just stamped and then continued stamping. Why don't you so you can... Yeah, I could. But I was going to go with this lighter color, because with this, I don't need to mask it because it's lighter. See? And it'll be covered anyway. And I thought, you know, you see it a little bit, but it's okay. It's kind of a good look how they all, how they all blend together. Oh, March 4th. That sounds right for the, for the uh, ribbon. Look how simple that is. Now I could add some of the cards. I'm going to add some gems. I think, just for the sake of time, we won't on this one. Mm -hmm. I was making a card at the kitchen table and I didn't have my bone folder. But what I did have was my worry stone. Oh! And guess what? I could figure it out. Oh! <laughs> my worry stone. Okay, is I do have mine right here. I know. See, I, I'm I know. Just, and I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, I know. You know. He's the detail. To, I'm trying to contribute. Oh, and then of course you're going. You want to do? Yeah, he's just trying to get his two cents in. I am. Yeah. Oh, and of I course did. then you want to do an envelope to match. So I did that one. So that's going to be one. Yeah, the butterfly elements. That's what's gone. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do is let's see. Let's do this one. I have to turn it this way so I can see it. This is going to be the other. This other, these are just pretty flowers. You can see they're the same ones in the paper. Um, and they just have that watercolor look. So for this one, I want to use, let's see, we're gonna use lemon lime and pool party. Okay, so I'm going to put my pool party right there. And then, oh, <laughs> and then I can't find it. He brings this out and I can't find it, you know. And then I'm going to add, a, oh, let's do a, that one right there. Okay. I, should, I shouldn't confuse you with two different. Papers. You know, now, should I, should I do three? Does it need three? What do you think? I think it needs another one off the page right down here. Um... Yes. You go for that. I would have put one here, but we'll I go with be. Tim's idea. Yes. Okay, we're going off the page down there, okay? Because that is a unique idea. Mine, mine would have been a little standard, you know? <laughs> yeah, they look like those bows before. This um, is, uh, there's a name for this kind of stamp. It's really uh, a, a more of a realistic photographic look and um, that Stampin' Up! has come out with. So I think it is pretty awesome. Then we're going to take, I think this one could use a few gems. So I am using the original gem pack that is in the paper and we will, in the catalog. And I will do three gems. Hmm, I'm just gonna, I don't know, I'll just throw one over there. said you use an odd number. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, well, they say that, but now see, now we have six, but then the words would make the seventh right, so it's still it's still odd. <laughs> they always say that's good. Yeah, that's kind of the general understanding that three makes a good a good saying, uh, a good number. Okay, so let's do the next one. Okay, so on this one, I am going to see. It is good. I had Tim clean this off because on this one, I'm going to use lemon lime and. Do you know what I had a. And I need it. Uh, do, you, do you know what a sponge dauber is that you put your finger in, you know? Yeah. Uh, there's one on the table I was using. Otherwise, there's one in those little pull-out drawers. 
Okay, so this time, oh yes, Lemon Lime Twist, and this is Call Me Clover. These other two, these are all in the paper. These are all the colors listed that are in the paper, and I just, they all look so pretty together. Poppy Parade, Grapefruit Grove. So this is a great batch, and a pool party in all of this, um, to just kind of play with other colors that we might not do. So this is cool, I'm gonna use my sponge dauber. So I'm gonna stamp this in lemon lime, and then I'm going to daub a little bit of the Call Me Clover on it. Just kind of wherever, and let's see, I'm gonna do this middle, this is gonna be the middle one, I'm gonna do it upside down. So now I need to clean it, you'll notice it better when I do one on the side here. And I'll do another. Okay, and I will do this one. That way, isn't that, you know, can you see that on the thing? It's really pretty with the two shades. And then I'll do one more and then I'll try holding it up a little. It's very subtle. It's very subtle, but it's very, it's very lovely. And here is the, so maybe you can see better. So here's the thing, but isn't that pretty with the two shades? Yeah, Tim's getting his exercise. I am. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Okay, and then one more. Okay, so we finished with these. Okay, and now this one, we're just gonna have some fun. As long as I'm gonna use these, I'll leave it out. Oh, no, I better clean it, because Tim might want it for his. Yes, I might. Because he's gonna do the last card, but this is four. We're gonna do this first. Okay, and then, with this, I'm gonna use this. You can see I'm using a variety of the Stamps, and you can see you can see the scotch tape there just a little bit, but you see right through it, so it's not really a a thing. So with this, I am just going to do some fun colors here. So I am going to just kind of do a little random stamping with. Let's see. Oh, sure, we'll do a little. I'm just going to take all of these out. This can be a little autumn color or fanciful, however you want to look at it. Need some music here since you're watching me stamp. I don't even usually do this much stamping, you know. It's but today calls for it. So I'm doing some of the big ones, and then I'm going to let's see what haven't I done here. I could take more out, but did I? It doesn't even matter what I've done. See, I can just fill in them with some with some more little little ones. But how cool is that? And now with this one, the flower stamps and the paper, the only way you can get them is free with a $100 order. So that is, um, I am cleaning the stamps with a paper towel and water. Yeah, I know we sell a stamp thing, but I, I, I'm much too lazy. And I, um, I do love the Simply Chamois, but I just keep forgetting to bring it out to use it for this. So uh, this is the, when I quick come here to film, this is what I have. But I thought, isn't that a fun look? And I think with this, this one, let's do some. It's got a stain on already. Oh, oh, my finger. But Tim, it's okay, because I made this one for you, because it says, I just adore you. See, my hands are a little inky. That's the hardest thing with this, isn't it? So see, so it, it, it's okay. And then here's my the leaf. Oh, here are my here were my jams. I'm kind of using the iridescent ones because they just kind of fit in here. The otherwise some of the different colors would too. And then I'm gonna put one right up here. Okay. Okay, my dear hubby, this one's for you. This one fell off. So and that's a, oh, okay. See, then that wouldn't be for you. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Okay, and now, now that we made these four fun cards, we are going to make a really cute holder to put them in. This was one of the gifts that we made on the online retreat, but of course we used different paper. So you won't see that, but today I'm going to do it out of this paper. So I'm going to show you, I'll show you the finished 
product first, how we're going to finish it. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and I'm going to put in my cards. So let's see, I'll put in two on one side. This is just so fun because it's just all going to, you know, look good. And I put in two. This is a perfect little container for four cards. You can do six. You can do two. Uh, but I love it for four because that just feels like a really nice gift. So then I'm taking this Poppy Parade ribbon. I'm going to wrap it around and tie it. I certainly don't need that much. Okay, and then I'm using the same thing, so glad we're friends. And here's my and I think I'll I might want to add I might even just cut out like a little something you know I might want to just add something to here then I will add some glue dots Yeah, this would make a great little host host gift if you go somewhere, birthday gift, uh, little tea party gifts if you do something for that. But isn't that cute? So glad we're friends. And it's just a sweet little container. Now I'm going to show how we made this, but how easy is this? And any of the papers in here would look really, really pretty. And then things coordinate inside. So it's just kind of a, a fun, all-included gift. So to make this... Oh my, Tim, I am keeping you busy. Oh my goodness, what now? I need a scoreboard. I always have one out here. Is so that must one? mean I had people over to help when I took, took it back out is of that, here. Is that the brown one? Yes, the big brown one. So I'm going to start with one of the papers in here. And if it's a one dimensional, it's fine. Like this is one dimensional. Um, so I'm just gonna make this part be eight inches. And this is the full 12. What stamp set are those words again? Those are Incredible You. Are all the words that I was using today. Okay, so I'm going to put this on. And I'm going to score right down the middle at four. I don't think I can do that upside down. So. Okay, I'm going to go right down the middle. I always like using the bigger one. I don't know what other people do, but for me, I have better luck with the middle. And then I'm gonna fold it so you see. So that's just easier to see. And then I'm gonna turn it sideways like this, and I'm gonna score at three and a quarter and eight and three fourths. But you guys know, I don't usually really do that because then it's two numbers to look at. So I do three and a quarter. I flip my paper and I do three and a quarter again. <laughs> Then I only have to remember one. Okay, so now this is folded up. These, the size of the cards, you know, what's really fun about this, and of course you could layer on these, put little designer series paper and stuff on this too. These are the note cards and you get 20 of them. So I, they're either 650 or 695 and they're really nice cards. They're still heavy. They're still mailable. It's still... Um, a good size to mail. And you could make five of these packets of four cards, you know, out of one of these. Now that is really inexpensive and a great way to introduce, you know, anyone who doesn't stamp a lot. And then these are just fun little folders to put them in. Now all I'm going to do, this is really the last step. I'm just going to fold in the corners and I'm going not quite up to where it's folded here because I want it to be able to fold over. Sometimes if you go right to the fold line, then it's a little thick right there. So I'm going close, but you know, there's not too much about this that's really exacting because it, it's going to look fine, whatever. I made these years ago too and hadn't made them again in a long time and then thought, I'm starting to think of little gifts for the because we always make gifts when we do an online. We do a we did like four classes, and one of them was on gifts. So I came back to this, and I thought, now, now I'll share it with you guys. But do you see how this is done? So this is really easy. 
This paper is eight by 12, so this is just eight. Now all I'm gonna do is fold it up, fold that up, fold that up, and fold in half. There is my folder. And see, well, that side's backwards, and you know it's the side. So how cool is those? The cards are on are in the main catalog in the back, and I bet someone can come up with the name. They're on the same page with all the envelopes and stuff, and they come in Whisper White and Vanilla. And you can see this is vanilla. I was running out of white. I use the white more, but it's going to depend on what stamp set. Here I used white because this paper has white. If this paper, if I were using paper that had vanilla, then I would use vanilla. So you'll see to open it up, my cards will just slip right in there. And how cute is that? Okay, that's it for me. And yes, I will put these on my blog. I am back to trying to get my blog <laughs> updated. I'm just so bad at that. And I am going to... Tim is going to do to do a last one here. Now that I've left this big mess for him. Yes. And we need to give him a I had a very clear idea of what I was gonna do, but now it's all messed up. I'm not sure if I can do it. Oh, okay. So um you're on. I'm just gonna put all the different things here and colors. Uh, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Okay. Before, just wait. Yeah. For a, formal, yeah. For, for a formal introduction. Oh, I'd like to introduce you to <laughs> my well dressed hubby of the year. <laughs> Hi. Gonna get around. We, we really should have a bigger space. Yeah. Yeah. And two chairs. And two chairs. Now, this is a complete aside. But we got a Christmas gift from our daughter, Leah, who's a chef. And she gave me, I've never been in Penze's, Penze's Spices before, but this is a box with spices in them. And I just love the, the style. And it's, it seems like a stamped. Oh, you could make that with ours. Oh, Tim, that'd be great inspiration. Yeah. You could do that. And my favorite thing that I wear, I wear my Starbucks apron around the kitchen, the one that says Army and my name on it. But this I also wear which is just a beautiful heart with all kinds of colors in it. It says Embrace Hope. And it says Embrace Hope, which I absolutely enjoy. I love that saying, Embrace Hope. So that is an aside. I'm not advertising them, but they are a good company. Um, okay, is my stuff around, my dear? It's right here. Oh, good. I told him he was getting a blank card. An envelope. Yes. A thing of words to put on it. He could do whatever he wanted. So. And my own bone folder. <laughs> do people know what a worry stone is? Because you just rub your thumb on this. I just love it. I got this in Seattle. It's beautiful. I bought it at a store. I didn't find it on the street or anything. So, um, Okay, now I can decide if this is upright or sideways or so I'm going to do it this way okay now my inks I would be glad to open pads for you this one okay I did not use the pine cone in the others but this is a beautiful pine cone stamp in the set too it really is and then there's also a stamp with little snowflakes so it really is a to keep with, seasons you know to keep with my tradition of doing it whoops facing your direction, because I can. Isn't that nice? And I get a pick. She said I can pick. I'm gonna do this, and I'm going to use... <laughs> we have all these colors and all the colors over there. This one, this lots one. Lots of colors. This one. <laughs> so many colors. So many colors. So little time. <laughs> yes. We've gone longer today, <laughs> but we're glad you guys are still with us. It's all good. All four of you. No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there's a right side or a wrong side to that one. Nope. They're proper, so they're good. And then we're going to put a small one in the middle, and we're going to do green. Bright green or dark green? Dark green. Call me Clover. Call me Clover. This is not clover, but it's, I think this is called Timothy grass. 
Did you know there is a Timothy grass out there? There's a little, little rocking it. Um, that was one of the highlights of my childhood growing up on a farm, is to find out there was a grass named after me called Timothy. <laughs> that was before weed was popular. The other That's too. right. <laughs> um, <laughs> Doesn't look. In fact, Tim, you did a 4-H project on. Oh, I did. <laughs> Which is loud. I did a 4-H awesome. project. I still have it, and it had five weeds in it, like rough cling foil. One of them was hemp. <laughs> it was so weird. So he used to show that when he worked in the field of chemical defense. He used to show his project. <laughs> I helped train the dare officers, and I brought it every time, hoping not to get arrested. <laughs> um, that does not look complete. I guess I need words. Where are my words? Oh, Karen did it for me. So, you know, I'm not sure if this is going to work. Timothy because... grass is for horses. <laughs> is said, it? Well, it's good. Well, I'm glad and Tim isn't going to find it and cook a meal then. <laughs> no, I wasn't... Thanks, Jenny. I had no idea. Oh, I'm a good... and Bonnie says her guinea pig only eats Timothy hay. <laughs> oh, that's great. Now, I really didn't plan this out, so... That looks nice. No, it doesn't. It's it's really not nice at all. But I'm kind of a perfectionist, so that's life. Um, I gotta, so you're going to improve on I just it, need, what you're saying? Yes, I am. I need okay. a piece of paper. Uh-huh. <gasps> wow. Oh, no, I missed, <laughs> I missed it. I thought I was right on the money, but no. So anyway, this is a this is a do over. I'm sorry, but it's okay. Sometimes we get do overs in life, right? Yeah. So yeah. we all. But the basic idea is a good one. And you know what I think would be really lovely if you were doing three things like this: put your words on vellum and put that across so you can Have see seat, through. My dear. Wouldn't I think that would Let's be? Let's move a, on. I'm embarrassed. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so thanks, guys. And uh, oh, Doris is. Grand Rabbit <laughs> eats only Timothy Hay, too. I said, yes. that, that is too funny. You guys really so, know what so, Timothy Hay is. Oh, my goodness. I said, you know, last week we were talking about, about what kind of opal apples that we'd never heard of. And some of you are going, you've never heard of them? And I thought, and I will not cook good. with them again. We didn't like them so much in Chris, but they're good eating apples. So are they? Would okay. be, we'd try them again next time. So it's just fun they to over, try new things. They overwhelmed my mother's recipe. My mother's recipe has a really nice balance. But opal apples just kind of threw it over the edge. So, I'm sorry. Um, but we still ate it all. So yeah, we did. It wasn't, we did. you know, it, it's all relative, right? So remember, this is the stamp set. Anyone sharing is going into drawing, and we will announce who that is. Oh, and I have one more important announcement. If you've ever bought anything from me, including an online class, anything, I really want you in my Back Porch Stampers group. Um, and I do, you know, my monthly online classes. On Saturday, I am doing a live class in there. Um, I had it um, for sale, so some people ordered all the paper, all the supplies, but I'm going to do it right in there so everyone can see it, and we're making simple, simple, simply stamped birthday cards. So we're making nine cards, three each of three designs, but each with some variations. So we're going to do that at four on four Central Time on Saturday, so I'd love to just have you join and just watch. Karen says, great, great try, Tim, and Lauren <laughs> says, Tim card was, Tim's card was very nice. Oh, yeah. You're being way too nice. Yeah. You know what? For her saying that, you should send it to her. I should. You don't even want to send it. <laughs> He's getting more critical. Luann, send us your address. You're getting He'd that. love to send it you're to You're getting you. that beautiful card. Thanks, guys. And we will see you then on Saturday at 4, those of you in the Backport Stampers, and otherwise Monday at 6.30. Oh, and for the Backport Stampers, you just go there and request to join. And... Um, that's so great. I have Holly do everything. She just, you know, double checks the names on there and <laughs> lets you in. And people on there just have a lot of fun. So thanks, guys. Hey, See you later. Keep talking. Keep talking. I have nothing else to talk about. Yes, you do. We, we except that outside is very inviting with that lovely sun. So we'll we'll see ya. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> this crack. <laughs> this camera is very crooked. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, this isn't it. We're on a slope. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>